多種多様な民族が集まるアメリカの大都市ニューヨーク世界金融の中心地でもあるこの町で外部との接触を拒み聖書の教えに厳格に従って生活するユダヤ教の一派今回はそんな謎に包まれたアメリカ最大のユダヤ人コミュニティに潜入してみたいと思いますはい皆さんワッツァーバッパー翔太でございます皆さんついにやってまいりましたアメリカ東部大都会ニューヨークでございますいや西から東なかなか長かったですけどついにやってまいりましたということで、まあ、今回はですねここアメリカには約750万人のユダヤ人がいらっしゃるみたいなんですけどここニューヨークにはですねアメリカ最大のユダヤ人コミュニティ約170万人の方がいらっしゃるらしいんですけど、まあ、その、ね、中でも、えー、超正統派のハシティックっていう一派があるみたいで、まあ、ユダヤ教にはですねさまざまな宗派があるみたいで超正統派、正統派、保守派、改革派とあるみたいなんですけどそのね超正統派のハシティックっていうのはですね、えー、ユダヤ教徒の中でも最も正聖書に忠実らしく、まあ、とある記事ではですねあまりにも忠実すぎることから過激派ともね書かれてたりするみたいなんですけど、まあ、今回はですねその得体の知れない超正統派ハシティックのね実態を見て回りたいなと思います。はいといととうことで皆さん着きましたここがですねアメリカ最大のユダヤ人コミュニティブルックリン地区の中でも超正統派ハシディックの人々がですね暮らしているエリアなんですけどいや周りを見渡すとですね黒いスーツに黒い帽子奇妙なですねもみあげをしている人たちがたくさんいるなっていう感じでいやまるでですね200年前のですね世界に来ているような感じですで見渡すと皆さんですね携帯もガラケーをですね使ってあります。もともとですね、この超正統派ハセディックはですね、約250年前にウクライナで始まったみたいで、まあ、各地で迫害を受けてきたユダヤ人が近代化する西洋文化の同化に反発して伝統に忠実に生きようってことで始まった宗派みたいで、まあ、その後ホロコーストの後、アメリカに移民してきたみたいなんですけど、まあ、ガラケー使ってはるも独特な服装なのも、これもユダヤ教の聖書、トーラの戒律なんですかね。まあ、聞いた話によると、このね、ユダヤ教の聖書、トーラにはですね、613の戒律があって、まあ、スマホ、あとネット、SNS も戒律で禁止、現代社会のですね危険な情報を遮断して生きることが正しいとされているみたいです、まあ、それにしてもですねかなり目線が冷たいですね、僕がこうやってねカメラ持ってるの、その影響なのかわからないですけど。はい、ということで皆さん、今回ですね、紹介してくれる、What's your name, brother? My name is Shlomi. Nice to meet you, Shota. Nice to meet you too. So, you from here? I was born here, I've lived here, I got married here.、Yep. I don't live here right now,、okay. but I come every, all the time, every few weeks. So, are you Hasidic? Yes. Oh, wow. So, where are we now? Because I feel like this is not New York, right? <laughs> right. So, this, Different is, world. this is very much New York,、yep. but、um, it kind of feels like the Jerusalem of America. Right. So, this is the largest concentration of, of Jewish people、yep. in one place in the United States. is here. This is like the center, the most busiest, most Jewish place in the United States. Right. So, what do you guys speak? You know? English? So, English is the second language, right? Third language? Here, English is kind of like a second language. Okay. Most people speak Yiddish、ah, okay. say, as a first language. And then、uh, there's, we pray in Hebrew. Okay, you, ancient you pray in Hebrew. Hebrew、okay. Ancient Hebrew, not modern Hebrew, which is. Uh, similar but different,、yeah. but we don't really speak Hebrew between ourselves. Okay. Although in, in Israel, there are many Hasidic Jews who speak Hebrew as well. Okay. イディッシュ語とは東欧のユダヤ人の間で話されていたドイツ語から派生した言語らしいのですが第二次世界大戦中のナチスドイツのホロコーストによってイディッシュ語を話すユダヤ人は激減現在では主にアメリカやイスラエルなどのハセディクによって親しまれている言語だそうです。So, since I arrived at this community, so I felt a little bit unwelcoming, you know, the people, you know. What do you think this one? Sure. So, first of all, I'm sorry that you felt that way. Pretty much everybody here、mm-hmm. in these communities,、yep. we are all descendants of Holocaust survivors. Oh, okay. And before the Holocaust,、mm-hmm. many people were more friendly with their neighbors. Right. And、uh, unfortunately,、yep. turns out that we didn't have the best neighbors before the Holocaust, and a lot of them did some really terrible things to our community.、Mm-hmm. So, there's a little bit of generational trauma here where people are a little bit skeptical or suspicious of people who are not members of our own community. Tell me about the Hasidic communities. The Hasidic community is based on the old tradition.、Mm-hmm. We still abide by the 
Talmud, the Bible, mm -hmm. and we stick to our religious. We don't let ourselves to be corrupted by the new technology with all these new liberal, whatever you call it, LGB and that kind of stuff. And you know, we try not to interfere with the outside world. Mm -hmm. We have our own, you know, economy. So it's a, it's a, it's a, 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 a self-established economy. 歴史的な側面からも外部との接触を避けてきたハスリックですが彼らの生活には一体どのような戒律があるのかそれを知るべくやってきたのは町の本屋。So this is、uh, possibly the most famous Jewish bookstore in the world. Wow. We have thousands of、uh, different Jewish books. Yeah. Many of them are ancient, written many hundreds or thousands of years ago. Okay. So most of these books are in Hebrew. And then, as I showed you over there, we have a lot of books that are written in Yiddish as well. Okay. Which is the, the local language. So you can read、uh, Yiddish and the Hebrew also? Yeah. Can and, you read that? And English.、Yeah. And English.、Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, what about the school situations here? It's like、uh, everyone goes to like, normal schools or.、Like、they're, they're not public schools. No public schools. They're private schools、okay. um, owned and operated by our community. Okay. And they teach our history, our values. But yeah, there's a massive school system here. And you'll see a lot of. Yellow buses outside with Hebrew yeah, lettering yeah, yeah. on them. That's、uh, that's from our school system. So you guys, it's not allowed to like use the internet and stuff like this, right? Oh, that's、so、a very good question. So、yeah. first, okay, so first of all, I mean traditionally we we study a lot.、Mm -hmm. We're supposed to study and learn about our religion and our traditions and our customs. Yeah, it's a book of lectures were given by this rabbi. Okay, and they've been printed so that people can study it. You know, also because we have Shabbos, which is.、Uh, Every Saturday,、mm -hmm. day of rest. We don't use electricity. We don't use.、Um, we won't go on the phone. We won't go on the computer. So, if you want to study something on the Sabbath, the only way to do it is with a book. Sabbath とはユダヤ教の間で定められた聖なる休日のことで、毎週金曜日の日没から土曜日の日没までの25時間は労働することも電気や車、携帯電話の使用、火を使って料理することさえも禁じられているそうです。So what do you do in the Shabbos? Shabbos, we are forbidden to do any any laws. We don't drive cars. We don't go on our phones. We don't light fires. We don't stuff like that. I don't know if you would realize, but if you realize with yourself,、mm -hmm. a lot of times you're sitting with your family,、mm -hmm. and everyone's on their phones.、Yeah. You, can, you don't have a normal conversation. Yeah, yeah. And then this one day of, of Shabbos,、mm -hmm. where no one's on their phones, and everyone just be like talk with them, with each other. It's very good idea. It's, it's, I it's yeah, such, I a, it's such a such a such a Such a beautiful thing where people just converse with each other. It's not not calling on a phone, not looking at a WhatsApp, not looking, not looking at social media. It's a beautiful thing.、So、we have this one day a week where we all, we all focus on each other. Hasidic's big advantage is its clothes. This is one of the most popular rules. Oh, that's the hat.、So、these are these hats. That's what you're wearing now,、yeah. right? What、They're、does it mean, this one? Okay, so it's called、uh, a yarmulke. Okay. Which in Hebrew means Yudai Malka. Okay. It means、uh, to fear the king. So when you wear this on your head, it reminds you that there's a god who's watching everything you do. Maybe this one. <laughs> like, like, how, where are you gonna wear? Like here. Uh, you wanna wear, wear a little, like here, a little more for like something like this. Okay. So what about your hair, man? Like, why are you growing that? Oh, oh my hair! This is another commandment from the Bible,、okay. where God says that you should not cut off the sides of your hair,、okay. so you let it grow. This hat、mm -hmm. is called a stramo. Okay, stramo. Stramo. Very. You said it very well.、Okay. This is a hat that Hasidic men will wear、okay. on the Sabbath, on Shabbos, and、okay. on special holidays,、mm -hmm. and they're very expensive. Guess how much this cost? Let's say two thousand dollars, one thousand. Twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. It's made from what? It's made from real sable,、wow. the tails of a sable. So, according to the legend, what happened was that a few hundred years ago in Eastern Europe, there was a count,、mm -hmm. somebody who,、uh, a leader, a communal leader who was not Jewish. He hated Jews and he wanted to punish the Jews.、Okay. So he made a decree that Jewish people cannot wear fur. Because fur is a very royal material,、yeah. so I said Jewish people can't wear fur.、Mm -hmm. The only fur they can wear is the tail of the animal, because the tail of the animal traditionally is the lowest part, the most unimportant part of the animal. So the Jews said, "Okay, we're going to take the tail of the animal、mm -hmm. and we're going to turn it into something beautiful." And there you go, 
They created the Stramo. Wow. It's a royal hat made from the fur of animals. Yep. They tried to bring us down yep. and we lift ourselves up with this. <laughs> wow. okay, what about the clothes, man? Like, you know, like I saw so many people wearing the black, you know. Yeah, so, so in this community, I think most people wear black mm -hmm. or dark blue. Okay. So I like to go with the, you know, colors that are a little bit different, but mm -hmm. I'm also still respecting right. the traditions and the customs of the community. So that's so just my personal choice. Okay, so depending on the hat, depending on the clothes, you can recognize which neighborhood or something like that? Or? It, it's not so much about the neighborhood, it's okay. more about recognizing which sect, which group, right. of which Hasidic group someone comes from. Yeah. So how many sects in Hasidic? Uh, over 200. Really? Yeah. For women, mm -hmm. especially, mm -hmm. there is a big emphasis on modesty. Okay. Not to show off too much skin. A married women cover their hair. Okay. So some of them will cover it with a hat. Some of the some of the women will cover their hair with a handkerchief. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some women will cover their hair with a wig, which wow. is very popular here. I think most women in this neighborhood wear wigs. Really? Yeah. 女性の場合結婚をすると夫以外の男性を誘惑しないように地毛を他人には見せてはいけないというお教えがあることからハセディックの間では恋愛にも厳しい戒律があるそうです今ね、こうやって街歩いてるんですけど一番びっくりするのが
you're on fire, you know, you're it's just an expression of uh, devotion. So when you study, you have to do all the language. You don't have to, it's just, it happens naturally. It just happens that. Naturally, wow. Absolutely. Now, what do you study about? I mean, the topic is the laws of uh, sales. Oh, okay, sales. Ooh. Based on the, uh, Jew- the Torah's laws. 長生と母ハスディックの男性にとって宗教を学ぶのも仕事のうちとみなされているらしく一方女性は家で家事をすることが一般的で男性は仕事に励み女性はそれを支えるそれが幸せにつながるというのが伝統的な考えだそうですとある記事で読んだんですけどこの超正統派ハセディックにはですねこう男女の役割がきちんと分かれてて、まあ、女性にはできないことがあって例えばですね、えー、女性は絶対にラ,ビ、えー、ラバイにはなれないとか、まあ、そういった戒律があることから、まあ、一部の人ではですね女性差別と捉える人もいるみたいです。I think the men maybe feel discriminated. I think like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, girl power. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think there's any feeling of discrimination. Oh, no way. And,、uh, mm-hmm. You know what I found?、Mm-hmm. That people only feel discriminated、mm-hmm. if they don't know enough about it. Right. So the more you learn、mm-hmm. and the more you study, and you're like, wow, it's amazing,、mm-hmm. it's beautiful. I, I never knew. So. For anyone who feels it's going, I say go study, go learn. So, you guys are kind of like a man and girls completely different. Like, let's say they're like different types, right? We just have different missions that we got to do in this world. Missions, okay. Yeah. That's how I'm looking for. So, yeah. yeah. It doesn't make this. Yeah, yeah, different missions that we got to do in this world to make this world a better place.、Mm-hmm. Wow. たくさんのですね女性にインタビューしてみたんですけど、まあ、カメラ NG だったんですけど、えー、みんな口を揃えて言うのがですね女性差別はない男性は男性にしかできないことがあって女性には女性にしかできないことがあるそれらを誇りに思ってるっていうアンサーが全員でしたね。So what do you think about living with the Jewish people? They're good. Yeah. I like the Jewish people. They're cool. They don't bother me. I don't bother them. They take care of us when we work with them. They don't slave us around. I don't care about that. I don't judge them. And they all good. Okay. It doesn't bother me. So, what's the, you know, like a Jew reason for you, you know? So, we all believe in one God.、Mm-hmm. That means God is in charge of everything.、Yep. God is recreating everything every single second. And everything is, nothing is by chance.、Mm-hmm. Everything is, everything that God is directing in every single way. All right. So, that's what, that's what Judaism looks at. ユダヤ教の歴史を語る上で重要なのがここ聖地エルサレム今から3000年ほど前の紀元前1000年頃現在のパレスチナイスラエルあたりにはイスラエル王国というユダヤ人が建国した国家があったらしいのですがしかし周辺国からの侵略により王国は崩壊しユダヤ人は世界へ散らばり以後2000年近く祖国なき民として暮らしていたそうですエルサレムにはユダヤ教キリスト教イスラム教の3つの宗教の聖地がありこの聖地エルサレムをめぐっては古来から宗教構想が絶えず現在も対立が続いていますそもそも現在のイスラエルはこれまで迫害されてきたユダヤ人がシオニズムと呼ばれるイスラエルの地に故郷を再建しようとする運動のもと建国されたのですがユダヤ教の思想では世界が終末に向かう時救世主メシアがユダヤ人を困難から救い王国を建立すると信じられており超正統派ユダヤ教徒の間ではイスラエルの再建はメシア信仰に対する裏切り行為だメシアはまだ現れていないといった反対の意見を持つ人々が多くいたそうです。What do you think about Palestinian problems now over there? What do you think? What's your opinion? It's a, it's a bad situation, and、uh, we hope for the better. We hope everything will straighten out. But you, you guys are against Israel, right? Like a, it's a d e s i r e I tell you, we're、mm-hmm. against having our own state, but now that it's there And the people come in to kill us, we don't say just, you know, give you thought and let them kill you.、Mm-hmm. It's at this stage, at this stage of the game,、mm-hmm. it's, it's a war. But the question about having the own state of Israel is, is, is an old question, even before the, the Israeli Israel was established.、Yeah. But the general question about the, the own state of Israel is not now the time to discuss it. So, are you guys、uh, agree for what Israel is doing now or no? We are, we are against 
we are against to have a state before the Messiah will come. Okay. But we are against the Arabs who kill us. I understand. understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys are against the Palestinians. Strong against, Strong yes. Against. Yeah. Right. Because they kill. まあ、このね、ハズリックの人々はですね、まあ、反シオニズムの人たちが多かったみたいなんですけど、現在ね、まあ、パレスチナの問題があって、まあ、意見はですね、あの、コミュニティ内でも割れて、まあ、いろんな意見の人がいるみたいです。What I want to say is that people have right to protect, protect themselves. If someone is coming to infiltrate and to come and attack them, it definitely gives themselves the right to,、um, to protect themselves and as well. You know, obviously, they, they didn't the one who started up, someone else started up, and obviously, it makes sense for them to protect themselves. And what, whatever they're doing,、um, I can't advocate and say what they're doing is 100%、um, right thing to do, but on a general aspect, you obviously have to protect yourself, obviously, or then, well, God forbid, happen again. まあ、今回いろんな人にインタビューしてみてみんな口を揃えて言うのがやっぱり、えー、血を流さずに解決してほしいけどいろいろな複雑な歴史などが絡んでいろいろな意見は分かれますけど僕の願いとしては血を流さずに解決してほしいなと思うんですけどまあでもなんか僕みたいなもんが解決してほしいって簡単に言える問題でもないとは思うんですけど血だけは流さずにっていうのは願いですね。そう今やってきたのがですねこのコミュニティにある。This is a supermarket or no? What's up? This is a supermarket and everything here, every single product in this room, in this store is kosher. Oh wow. ユダヤ教には食べていいものとダメなものに関する食事規定があるらしく、ハシディックはそれを厳格に守っているそうです。For example, look, these are pickles, right?、Mm -hmm. This is a kosher symbol. Oh, that's the symbols. Yeah, that's one of the symbols. There are many、okay. symbols. But that's probably the most famous one here, you see? You, right? Oh, you. That's how you recognize it's kosher or no, right? Yes. その他にも聖書に子ヤギをその母の父で見てはならないという記述から食べ合わせにも規定があり例えば同じ料理に肉と乳製品を一緒に使ってはいけないとか肉を食べた後は6時間乳製品を摂取してはいけないなどと決められているそうです。Because we don't mix milk and meat, we have separate dishes for milk and meat. So here is a kosher knife. The brand is called Kosher Cook. And this is red, which symbolizes meat.、Oh, But if somebody's going to use a knife for dairy, they use blue, which symbolizes dairy. Okay. Yes,、wow. and then you have something called parv.、Okay. Parv means it's not meat and it's not dairy. Like, like vegetables or something right, like that. Right, right, so we use green. Wow. So we're going to go eat lunch at this kosher restaurant. Kosher.、Oh, so. Come inside.、Wow. This is Mendelssohn's Pizza. It's a landmark in the community. Been here for almost 60 years. Yeah. They have regular pizza. Then they have、uh, pizza with all sorts of different toppings. There are pastas and、uh, knishes, which is another kind of Jewish food, and French fries and salads and sushi. Sushi? Sushi, yeah. Oh, there you go. Look, you have sushi right there. Wow. You see, it's kosher sushi. We have, I mean, it's being it's kosher, so. Attracts a lot of Jewish people. We have many, many different people come. Okay.、Um, based on the fact that we don't mix meat and dairy together, so people that are vegetarian or vegan know this is an option to come here because there's no meat served in this facility.、Yeah. For example, if we want to cook a cheese and a meat at the same time in the oven, what are we going to do? No, we don't do that. We don't cook cheese and meat together in the same oven. You have to have two ovens, or you have to be careful how you do the cheese, how you do There's all kinds of rules and regulations. Kosher dietary laws, but just to keep it simple and easy, we just don't bring any meat in here and、uh, we're strictly a dairy facility. Before you eat, what happened? We make a blessing on our food. Okay. And we thank God for giving us this food. Okay. ブリカトでのよライニングのコイドンボリュームのメザナス。Yeah, also I'm gonna make a, another blessing. Okay. Because we make different blessings on different foods. Okay. So for example, now 
I'm gonna take a drink. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's a depend on the product. Yeah, there's oh, different yeah. blessings on different different foods. Oh, wow! So when you eat this pasta, also you're gonna have to say this pasta mm-hmm. is the same blessing as this because this pizza, the main ingredient is uh, flour, which is okay. wheat. Pasta also the main ingredient is flour, so they have the same blessing. Okay, so you're gonna have to say main ingredients. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what to say, so in Japanese we say itadakimasu, you know? <laughs> the huge pizza, so it's not mixed with the uh, meat and cheese, right? This one. Mmm. Damn delicious, man. Mm. Oh, it's a huge potato. で、ま、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと
because you know the technology today mm -hmm. in one small piece you can have the whole world mm -hmm. we're not, we not interested in this yeah it's not good for the education not good for education take a look how they look like i have a smartphone actually okay, so it's kind of different you know different yeah um so a lot of um a lot of the reasons is because so actually on my phone mm -hmm. i have a, a a monitor okay that means someone sees whatever i do oh wow um so what kind of things you can't access no, I can access whatever I want. I can okay. do everything I want. But somebody watching you. Someone's watching me. Wow. Why? Mm -hmm. You know why? No. Because there's a lot of inappropriate stuff. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not restricted. I could do just as much as on my phone as you could do, but just I know just I, I'm not going to look at this inappropriate thing or do this bad thing because someone's watching. It's kind of a sub, subconscious and psychological thing in your head. You know, someone's always watching. Mm -hmm. And some communities, they initially want to put that blockage on those people and I don't know if that's the right thing to do because a lot of people feel like they're restricted and they want to specifically want to rebel. Yeah. My perspective is that, uh, to, to what for myself is, you should definitely have some sort of restriction. It's not exactly, it's not exactly a restriction, it's some sort of, I guess you want to call it accountability. Yeah. And uh, it helps you do the right thing. さっき話してたらですね、これでね、ネット見てないときにいろんなことがこう起こってることに気づかなくなる、見失うという話をするんですよ。決してね、走っていくの、戒律の中で決まってるからっていうわけじゃないんですよ。ちゃんとネットの危ないところを理解して、それを
is whatever I whatever I want. I, w I don't want, for example, I don't want you to do this to me. Mm -hmm. If I if I don't want doing it, then obviously you don't want to do it. And I have to love you, just like I love everyone else, and everyone I have to love as well. Okay. And we all are one. All, we're all one together. We all believe in all one God. Everything is about being one together, loving each other as one, believing in one God. Right. That's basically um, that's basically it. はい、ということで皆さん今回はですねアメリカ最大のユダヤ人コミュニティからでございますいや世界はほんまに広いなっていろんな人がいていろんな文化があってその中でも250年もの間自分たちの伝統を実践してきた長生と反ハスリックの人たちはリスペクト心でいっぱいですねまた違いってねなんかあの衝突する場合もありますけどなんか見方にを変えればですね勉強になることばかりだなって思う今回勉強になることめちゃくちゃありましたえー、超正統派ハスリック今回取材してみたんですけど超正統派ハスリックイコールまるまるってこう収めてしまうんであんまりなんてそうじゃないんじゃないかなともうこのグループの中にもめちゃめちゃいろんな人もおるしめちゃめちゃいろんな考えの人もおるしまあよくねアメリカはまるまるとかね中国はまるまる日本はまるまるとかってありますけどそれはただ単に一部のまるまるであってその中にはいっぱいまるまるが潜んでるんだなってなんか。感じさせられましたいやみんなね喋ってたらめちゃめちゃねこう初めはねちょっと距離感ありますけどめちゃめちゃフレンドリーで、えー、しゃべるとはめちゃめちゃ楽しい、えー、ハシリックの、ね、人々でございますということで皆さん今回の動画がええなと思ったらチャンネル登録のほどよろしくお願いしますということで皆さんアディオスニューヨークからです。